in we're in Bristol Airport right now. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, boy. Mike, are you excited to go to CERN? Oh, it's this Maddie Vlogs. Yeah, I'm a That's YouTuber Maddie. now. <laughs> Mind the car. Whoops. YouTube, depending on which way it turns, and then also, depending on the radius of the curvature, you can tell the mass, because a bigger mass particle de deflects less. Start the particle and touch the hydrogen bottle to your right. Yeah. Yeah. Down here, the LINAC that says down there, that's the linear accelerator, which is what we were just looking at there. So what they do is they is they accelerate it that way, but then they get it into into the first uh, phase of trying to accelerate it around a circular path, um, which is really really small. And then they get that one when, they, when they've given it enough energy, but they get that one to go into this next phase, which is bigger and more powerful. Um, and they continue to get that one to accelerate and then they eventually it'll go through to the full uh, the full LXC and uh, the large people of the It's about uh, 100 <laughs> meters below the surface. Uh, we are at floor minus two. <laughs> me is, um, is a, a life scale image of the CMS detector at CERN um, and I'm just going to tell you what the different parts of it are very briefly. So in the, in the centre what we have is the, uh, the middle tube where there's a vacuum and that's where the protons are all, um, are all passing through and that's where the, that's where the collisions actually happen. Um, around the outside we have the tracking, tracking system that what that does is where the, pro where the, where the different particles um, are created, they fly off in all different directions. That's the bit which, which says which way they're going to go and detects, detects the route that they travel in. Um, the next layer is, uh, is called the electromagnetic calorimeter, which um, detects how much energy the electromagnetic particles have. Um, and then around the other side of there, you have the, the hadronic calorimeter, which detects how much energy the hadrons that are created have. And um, around the outside of that, uh, you have the, the magnet, which is a, which is a massive solenoid magnet, um, which produces enough magnetic field to keep the beam uh, focused in the centre. Um, and then around the outside of that, you have the, uh, the muon chambers, which detect where the muons go. 